So in Skull and Bones, when you get your hands on the Padawa Kang, there is one way to set this beast up. You can, if you want to, put anything on it. You can have standard cannons like culverins, you can have fire, long guns, you can have literally anything you want. But there is a much better way to set this up. The only thing is you're going to have to keep a little bit of range between you and your enemies to have the greatest effect. But when I say this thing absolutely slaps everything I've come across, and it's the fact that this ship can handle multiple enemies at the same time. So if you jump into your codex and you go to ships, you're going to see the Padua Kang is the first on the bottom row. It states that it's a larger ship capable of taking on multiple enemies when it's properly equipped. I've recently done a video showing you guys exactly how you can get your hands on it, like an easy way to do it. And you'll see that this says DPS is specialized in dealing damage and status effects. The DPS favors an aggressive playstyle. Mine currently is rank 7. I've built it up from rank 5. It's a base rank 5 ship. But it's when it comes to the perk, that's when you want to pay the most attention. The perk on this is Detonate. Explosive hits have a 70% chance of triggering an explosion. That explosion is going to deal 1,000 damage within a 125 meter blast radius. And that increases to 100% if the target ship is ablaze. It also increases your damage to structures by 50% and your weapon damage radius by 12%. So because this ship benefits from explosive damage, you want to get your hands on fire bombards. These weapons are absolutely incredible. So if you go to St. Anne, you head over to the blacksmith, you go to the second tab of weapons, the top deck weapons. Under the enhanced bombards, you'll have the fire bombards. And in order to craft the fire bombard 2, you're going to need 8 Iroko planks, 8 bronze ingots, 12 fine jutes, and 4 wood tar. And these come with a perk explosive too. It adds 20% of damage as explosive damage in a 35 meter blast radius. And it also deals a little bit of burning damage too. There's 10% because it's got burning one as a perk. And then in terms of damage per shot, it's 511 explosive damage. But because you're tying that in with the perk of the ship, you're going to be dealing a lot of explosive damage. So in every single slot possible, try and get your hands on the fire bombard twos. You're going to have to keep a little bit of range because they're not that great when you're close up. Just because they typically always fire a little bit above where you're aiming. So if, if you're in a like a situation of panic where you have to fire quick, you're probably just going to aim at the enemy ship and all of your the bombards, balls or whatever are just going to go way above the enemy ship. But I highly recommend placing these in every single slot. And then when it comes to your auxiliary slot, if you go to the auxiliary weapons, you're going to be able to craft the mortar. The mortar is going to be amazing as well because it deals explosive damage. Everything on this ship, you want it to focus on explosive damage. And the same as every other weapon, it's going to tell you exactly where to get the blueprints and stuff from. It's going to tell you where to get all the resources to craft the weapons. And then if you have the ability to, like you go through your high enough infamy rank and all that stuff, if you can get your hands on the Leopold Mortar, it's going to add flooding damage on top of the explosive damage. And that comes under the Enhanced Mortar in the Auxiliary Weapons slot in the Blacksmith. So basically, to get the best out of this ship, you want a Mortar in your Auxiliary slot, and you want Fire Bombards all around it, because you're going for as much explosive damage as you possibly can. And when I say this has saved me from battle after battle, because there's just so much damage that you're dealing. Low level ships, because I'm like a rank 7 with all the stuff that I've got on my ship. Low levels, I'm going to say like 3, 2 and 1, they're going down like just with my mortar. I don't even need to get right up close to them because you can use a mortar from range. All I've got to do is fire that mortar and they're pretty much dead. If need be, then I can go in there with a fire bombard and just finish them off quickly. But yeah, the whole sort of like strategy around your Padua Kang, your bombardier, should be getting those fire bombards and the mortars because it's all based on explosive damage and the perk of the ship has nothing but benefits for explosive damage. So that's exactly how I would set up the Padua Kang or the bombardier in Skull and Bones. That's going to get you the highest amount of damage possible from this ship. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about this ship in Skull and Bones in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.